Hi, I'm Kendall and Harris, and I have two jobs here at Curlbox. I am my Leak Teals assistant, and I'm also the office coordinator. I think the main thing that my career adventures have taught me about myself so far is that I can build a career being myself. So every Wednesday, I write a blog for the Curlbox blog. It's called Ken's Quarter Life Crisis. A quarter life crisis is your mid-twenties, basically. You've graduated from college, you're expecting life to be a certain way, and I think when you start to, when I started to realize that it wasn't going that way, it's a panic. It's, it's a midlife crisis, but a little earlier. I've been getting through my quarter life crisis, number one, by realizing and accepting that it is what it is. I'm not going to be super rich right this second. I'm not going to be married tomorrow. I'm not going to be the CEO of a company anytime soon. I still have very lofty goals, but I have to work through this to get to them. My leak has always been really, really open about letting us uh, at Curlbox do our own thing and find our place in the company. And she had mentioned me doing something else and it, she had an idea for a blog. And I've always loved to write and had been a long time, so it was exciting. I had written my first blog a week or two before I actually told her and she asked me to work on it and I was like, well, I have it done. But I was really nervous because I hadn't written anything in a very long time, especially my own thoughts and feelings and emotions. And letting someone else read that was really scary for me. I had a conversation with my leak um, a month ago and she said that she really hated that I kind of came to work every day, went home, went to sleep, repeat. And it's been nice having the blog um, because it's, like I said, it's reintroduced me to my writing and you, you have to go to work every day. Everybody has to make a living and I have to eat and feed my dog. But it's, it's nice having something that's my own and that I don't necessarily rely on to live, but just something that makes me happy. People have a lot of preconceived notions about what being a personal assistant is, when in reality, especially in your 20s, it's the best job in the world. Here are five tips to being an awesome personal assistant. Number one is accountability. You have to be accountable for everything you do. You're going to make mistakes, but admitting you made a mistake and fixing it as quickly as possible is of the utmost importance. Number two is thick skin. Everything's not about you, especially when, when you're assisting someone else and you have to step outside of yourself and realize what you're doing is for the greater good of something else and that someone just might be having a bad day. There's a lot going on and as a CEO of a large company has so much more going on than my, my little day that you have, to, you have to consider everything. Anticipation of needs is number three. To be great, you have to get to know your boss and realize what she's gonna want, hopefully most of the time before she realizes what she wants, because as much as I can take off her shoulders, it's just gonna make my day easier. Number four is personality. You have to be a people person. If someone doesn't like you, no one's gonna to wanna to be around you. So being smart and being efficient, on all those are all great, but if no one wants to be around you, you're not gonna have any job security. And I also encounter a, a lot of different personality types every day, and being able to maneuver with all those people really helps me out. And the fifth and most important step to being a great personal assistant is organization. This is my pink Bible, I call it. My whole day is scheduled out. I make a to-do list every day. Nothing is done until I check it off. Sometimes I make little notes for you know when I'm working on it, but then if I don't finish it, it moves to the next day. And it keeps, it stays written down until it's done because once a task is given to me, it is then my task and my responsibility and I have to make sure I finish it. So I love my job here at Curlbox. I have a great team. I, I was going through a lot and I found a soft place to land. I'm very thankful. Check me out, um, blog.curlbox.com, Ken's Quarter Life Crisis every Wednesday, and it's Kenny Jewel with two L's on Instagram.